Hello, hello, this is Panda, and uh, we made a video in this world a while ago showing how broken pistons are with the elevator and stuff, and they are still broken by the way, still not fixed, but by now people build, build all kinds of conveyors with it, so... Well, let's not talk about that. Um, <laughs> people asked um, about what this craziness in the background is, and I'm gonna show you. So, uh, the story behind this is that uh, Senkan asked me one time, uh, about a thing with armor stands and command blocks and then later they added these Barry and these Teletubby command blocks um, and uh, yeah, it, I tried something out of it which is similar to what, what Zinkan had asked before so let's just uh, turn it on here, you can see there's still redstone blocks beside them because at the time I built it, it was in a snapshot and uh, they didn't act, uh, add this um, always active option in here yet but um, yeah, on this side it's just just for the setup and this is um, to, to give me the initial armor stand. And this is a clock running all the time. And if I now uh, summon this armor stand somewhere, uh, let's maybe go over here where so there's a bit more space, um, you will see uh, it creates armor stands all around and creates uh, three uh, more or less. Um, it's as close as you can get in Minecraft, I guess. Wait, where's the center? There. Let's put another one on top, and a second one. Um, so yeah, that's uh, basically a, a 3D plotter uh, using command blocks. Um, let's uh, try to explain it a bit. So I will just punch out this and uh, place one here and stop it. You can see what's happening. It uh, starts from the center and creates armor stands uh, on the outside like moving outwards and uh, creates an ammo stand for each position and then I'm also uh, keeping track of which position this is so um, let me see, well actually scoreboard how do you do that? players list I think it is yeah um, So um, you can see each of these armor stands has uh, three scoreboard values, X, Y, and Z, and uh, they are just counted um, in the same way the armor stand is moved. Therefore, I can tell the position for each armor stand, and uh, that's basically all this, this setup in front here does, summoning the armor stands and uh, changing the, changing the uh, scoreboard values. Oh, <laughs> that, that's uh, maybe an interesting thing to act, uh, add, you just saw them moving. Um, that's a client-side glitch, like they all were in this position all the time uh, for the server, but for the client the uh, TP was not transmitted correctly. Um, there was some desync because there are so many TPs after each other. So yeah, there's probably an easier way than, than what I'm doing here, but uh, it works. And then back here I got the, uh, the thing that's um, then placing the blocks. So uh, let's see, what do I do here? Okay, so I get the x value and store it in res. Uh, res is just my variable for the result, and then I multiply it. Um, then I also have a tmp, tmp equals y, then I multiply it with y again. Uh, so basically what this is doing is uh, saying res equals uh, x squared plus uh, y squared plus c squared. Um, and uh, I get continuous here with the uh, c and then over here, yeah, that's adding them, and exactly here, here that's where where I place the blocks. And if I go to the front here, um, oh yeah, I also used the the text a lot, uh, the new armor stand text. But let's not get too much into that. Uh, if we go to the front here, uh, then you see um, I'm checking if the uh, the result is um, at least 100 and at maximum 120. Um, then I do set block of state class, um, which is then happening to place uh, this this here, um, and then also I think the last command block here just kills the armor stands. Yeah, it kills all armor stands where uh, they are further out than that. Um, yeah, and that's that's pretty much it. But uh, with this front setup here. Uh, you can add different things in the back here and um, yeah, build different things. Let's get rid of the armor stands here. Uh, I got that somewhere. There we go. Um, for example, I can connect it to this and that's 
that's all just things I have around from from back when I built it. Like these, I think we will be building one of these things now. Um, so let's fly out where we have space. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, nothing because I turned it off, of course. Okay, let's go. Ah! So yeah, I changed the color a bit because the other ones are all out of glass and I think it actually looks cooler with uh, park blocks but the reason why you used glass is uh, the lag we are experiencing right now, it's uh, light updates mostly. So if you make it out of glass it builds a lot faster. But you can see it still builds, it just needs its time. And uh, I don't even know what formula I, I used for that, I would have to look it up in the uh, command blocks again. But it just played around like you can pretty much just do some calculations on x y and z and look what it what it gives or it's just a 3d plotting um so uh yeah i think i, I can move from here because it's lagging too much yeah it is <laughs> just getting reset all the time uh, but what i probably can do is uh fill the armor stands there we go let's see it rendering in yeah there we go um and I think I have one more thing that uh, s set up, which also, also looks like kind of cool. Um, you could of course also try to. Oops, that's not correct. Like that, could also uh, try to get some some specific thing, like so some really specific plot. You can uh, pretty much make all shapes with it. This also looks kind of cool, like a cave um, cave ceiling. I don't know what they are called in English, these Tropfstein, no idea. <laughs> so let's let's place the other one here, I think with this one uh, we will even be able to get out because there's an opening in here, yeah exactly. So I think that's enough. I like this, this, this ca these cave things I, I, I somewhat like, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, that's uh, it. Uh, thanks for watching, I will try to include the commands in the video description or something, um, in some way. And uh, see you next time.